I'd like to start by acknowledging the land in each of you for participating today and any animals that may be as well. Lindsay Williamson and I are both going to present and uh, we have a few dogs around us. That's me on the left in the picture with Kisby and Lindsay's there with her blue healer Steve. Uh, we've listed the co-authors on the paper. You can see them on the slide and this paper is going to be published in the Journal of Veteran Studies. And it's titled Examining Changes in PTSD Symptoms and Substance Use Among a Sample of Canadian Veterans Working with Service Dogs. So the study we're going to share today was done in partnership with the Audiamis Service Dog Program. Really unique to this program is that the dogs are trained by the veterans themselves. And you can see that in some of these photos. The program also centers on the bond or the connection between uh, the service dog and the handler or the veteran, in addition to the technical tasks that the dogs are trained to do, for example, waking a veteran up out of a nightmare. So post-traumatic stress disorder and substance use is a health concern among veterans in Canada and elsewhere. Uh, this project was designed to examine whether service dogs assist veterans with managing their PTSD symptoms as well as addressing problematic substance use. So there's not a lot of research around um, service dogs with veterans and there's even less when it comes to substance use. So we designed our study to also address some of the criticisms with the small amount of research that already exists. That's including, for example, the lack of quantitative measurement. So what I'm going to do now is play a quick two-minute intro video about PTSD and substance use amongst veterans. And this is just part of a larger video that's part of our project. And you can watch it the full thing later on uh, servicedogresearch.ca. It's 10 minutes in total. So we want to mention that we are a really large and diverse team that is made up of veterans, service dog trainers, senior researchers, students, and others. And what we adopted is a patient-oriented, um, and some call this a community-based participatory research, lots of overlap between those two. Um, and this group of a really large group of people has collaboratively guided all aspects of our project from the design to how we're going to collect the data, um, to the timing with that, to sharing the results. And also really unique to this project is that several of our members, including right now as well, have been training veter uh, service dogs alongside the veterans in the program um, to get the best understanding as we can of what the veterans go through with the program itself. So our method was a mixed method research design. We had five veterans match with service dogs from the Audiam and Service Dog Program. PTSD and substance use were measured at six points over one year uh, with measures for PTSD and substance use. And we also had one-on-one -on -one semi-structured interviews at each of these time points. And I'm gonna hand it over to Lindsay now to share more about our measures and our findings. Hi everyone, Lindsay here. So we adopted a mixed methods approach to our data collection. We had veterans complete semi-structured interviews and fill out measures of PTSD symptoms and substance use behavior at six different time points over a one-year time period. We used the PTSD checklist for the DSM-5 to measure PTSD symptoms and the drug use and screening inventory revised to measure substance use. The PCL5 and DUCI were analyzed using Reliable Change Index and Descriptive Statistics. Interviews were analyzed using a Content Analysis Coding Guide. Comparing group baseline and one-year means for the PCL5, the Reliable Change Index effect size score suggested a clinically but not statistically significant decrease in PTSD symptoms. Interview content complemented results related to the PCL5. Veterans offered accounts of ways in which their service dogs directly supported and helped manage their PTSD and related symptoms. Some of the changes that veterans reported included, included decreased nightmares, feeling more calm, 
and having increased focus. At baseline, each veteran reported a history of problematic opioid use and alcohol use. Each veteran also had prescriptions for several medications to manage their anxiety, depression, panic disorders, sleep disorders, and other health ailments, including irritable bowel syndrome, multiple sclerosis, and diabetes. At the start, two of the veterans were regularly consuming medically prescribed non-synthetic cannabis. They were taking CBD for pain and THC for sleep. So while there were notable fluctuations in individual scores and group means over time, changes for the DUCI were both clinically and statistically non-significant. During interviews, each veteran reported a decrease in their use of opioids and alcohol, while some reported an increase in their use of medical cannabis. The primary purpose of this exploratory research was to examine any changes in PTSD symptoms and substance use for veterans, as well as the potential contributions to these changes resulting from working with service dogs over the course of one year. This research was specifically designed as a contributing starting point in an emerging field and was also designed to address some of the common criticisms of service dog related research, including lack of long term follow up, limited data collection, lack of quantitative measurement and observations in unnatural settings. There are a variety of next steps for our team to take in exploring how service dogs can assist veterans with managing PTSD symptoms and reducing problematic substance use. We collected data uh, via interviews with spouses and friends of the veterans, as well as the veterans' mental health professionals. Other data collection has included physiological data related to PTSD symptoms, as well as amount of time spent together between the veterans and service dogs, which could provide insights into their bond. We believe it's important to continue to explore, as we have adopted in this study, a patient-oriented research approach, which can help direct our research focus, as well as dissemination and application of the findings. The information gathered from this exploratory project is also informing an upcoming project uh, that is Health Canada funded entitled A Positive Support Project for Veterans with PTSD and Who Problematically Use Substances. You can check out uh, information related to this project at servicedogresearch.ca. We wish to thank the many groups who have provided funding and support for this project.